ever wanted to make your own background layout for your use in OneNote, but you weren't quite sure how to do it? Well, stay with me today. I'm going to be using PowerPoint, but I guess that you could use some other program as well, but I'm going to be using Microsoft's PowerPoint to show you how to make a background notebook that you can bring into PowerPoint to help frame your journal. So stay with me. Hi everyone, I am Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life, where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. And today I want to talk to you about a beautiful, simple, little black notebook that I am using for 2023. I created it in PowerPoint and made a copy of that particular file, and I've been using it in OneNote every month so far. Uh, I'm really liking the way it looks. It's very classic. It's very... Uh, standard and you know it gives me just the framing that I need for the pages that I'm creating uh, here in OneNote to kind of keep everything together. I've had lots and lots of requests for um, the notebook page to see if I'm selling it. I don't sell anything uh, so I thought I would come on today and do this video very quickly just to teach you how to do this. I'm going to do the notebook that I made for myself, and then I'm going to show you a couple of ways to vary that notebook. Maybe you want a landscape style or something like that. Okay. All right. So let's jump into the computer and let's open up PowerPoint and we'll take a look and see uh, how we're going to get this done today. Okay. So here we are in OneNote on my desktop, and this is just uh, Microsoft's edition of OneNote. And you see this little uh, notebook that I have here on the screen. It is black and outlined here, and I have my monthly dashboard on it. I put a set of rings down the middle. Uh, you don't have to use rings. You could use stitches. You could use nothing. It doesn't matter, whatever personal preference you like, the way you like your notebooks to look. Uh, but today I want to show you how to do this one, and then you can play around on your own and get yours to be perfect just for you. All right, so I'm going to give you an idea of what it looks like uh, with its white pages and its black background and its rings up the middle. Now I'm going to bring up PowerPoint, and I want to show you how I was able to do that. Okay. Right. So here we are in PowerPoint, and this is what the finished page looks like. You can see that I have filled the entire slide uh, with my background and my um, pages in my notebook, okay? So this is the finished project that we are looking for today. Now I'm gonna jump over to a blank slide, and we're gonna show you how this was made. Okay? So here I am on my blank slide, and the first thing that I need to do is I need to create that background, that outer cover of the notebook, okay? So I'm going to go up here to the home menu and down to shapes, and when I open up shapes, you can see all of the various shapes here. The shape that I have chosen is the rounded corner rectangle, and I'm going to get pretty close up into this corner and I am just going to drag it across the entire screen width, okay? And then when I click off of it, you can see that the uh, lines around the outside show me the perimeter of the shape. But there's this little yellow dot right here, and if I grab that little yellow dot with my mouse, click and hold, you can see that I am moving the corners out. I can make them completely pointed if I want, like so, or I can bring them in and make them very curved if I want, or somewhere in between. So I like a notebook that has a slightly curved corner. About like that, I think is okay, all right? Again, you can adjust it to whatever you want. All right. Now you see that I have different colors up here in my 
uh, shape styles. And this is based on the particular theme that I have chosen for this whole PowerPoint stack. So I can do, you know, a blue outline with white pages. Um, there are all kinds. I'll bring up the menu and you can see all the different variations that I can do from this particular theme that I have chosen. If you want different colors, you simply can choose different colors. You can choose a different theme. Um, and when you do that, uh, you will have different uh, options to pick from. Okay. So what I am going to do is I think I want for today's demonstration purposes, I want this purple color to be the background for my new notebook that I am creating. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do that. Now I need to basically do that same process again. I could just copy and paste the shape that I have here, but as a review for you, I want to show you that I'm going back to the home to shapes and I'm going to choose my rounded cornered shape here. I'm going to come into the inside and I'm going to draw this. Okay. And I'm going to change that to be white, to be my pages on the inside. Okay. All right. Now I can click and hold down the mouse button and move that around to get it exactly where I want it to be on the page. Okay. And if you need to make it a little bit bigger, you can grab, you know, either one of these, uh, the top or bottom to make it bigger if you'd like, or the sides to make it bigger if you'd like. Okay. And then again, remember those rounded corners, we need to get those in line. So I'm going to grab that yellow dot and I'm going to make it so it looks like it is about the same as the outside page. Okay. So that looks pretty good to me. All right. Now I have seen other people who, uh, will take, uh, their outline color and you know, they'll make it the same as the page. They'll make it darker. You know, you can really do whatever outline, uh, you would like to do. So let's say, you know, I could do it black if I wanted. Um, I could do it, you know, the same color as the background. So it kind of goes away if I wanted to, but I, I kind of like a little bit of differentiation. I like that teal look, you know, how some paper notebooks that you buy have actual color on the edge of the pages. That's kind of what I like to represent here so that if the notebook were closed, it would be purple on the outside. And then you would have that band of teal along the edge of the pages. I just think that's kind of cool. That's my personal preference. So that's what I'm going to do uh, for today. Okay. Now, um, I've also seen people where they take multiple pages like this and they kind of stack them on top of each other to give a more realistic look for, you know, how you would have multiple pages, uh, laying out underneath of your notebook. So I want to show you quickly, uh, how I could do that if I wanted to. So here I'm going to click on the white page shape. I'm going to copy it and then I am going to paste it again and you see that it is going to come up. what I would do is just give it a fraction of space there so that it kind of looks like, you know, multiple pages. And you could do that a couple of times, you know, so that you have that look of a fanned book laying out with pages underneath. Okay. I personally don't need all that realism. I'm a digital planner and I like the clean lines of digital planning, uh, but I just wanted to show you how to copy and paste that if that's a look that you particularly want. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to go in and I am going to cut that top page and just leave that blank white page underneath. Okay. All right. Now the next thing that I need to do, uh, is I went to, um, an Etsy shop and I bought this graphic of this coil. Okay. Uh, because somebody took the time to sit and draw all of that out and put the highlights on it, you know, and I like to support local artists. So I went ahead and purchased that. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to take it back to my purple notebook and I am going to paste it 
okay? And you see that it kind of puts it in the middle of the page for me, okay? If I want to drag it and make it bigger so it's kind of, you know, going to the top of the notebook, again, I can do that. Hold down your Alt key sometimes and that gives you a little bit more precision about where that's going, okay? All right, so that looks good just in and of itself. All right. Now, one thing that you might want to think about is maybe you wanted to have a landscape planner. You know, you wanted just one long, big page. Well, how could you do that with this? Simply take this, your graphic, move it down here to the end, like so. So it looks like it is a coil that's going off the page. It's still holding your notebook paper in place, but now you have this big, long landscape uh, notebook to work with. And that's great. Last year I used a landscape notebook the entire year and I loved it because then I didn't have to worry about that split in the page. I could just put boxes wherever I wanted them and that was kind of cool. Okay. All right. So you can create a landscape look as well. All right. One of the nice things about working in PowerPoint is it does give you these grid lines. You can see the very faint red lines showing me where the center of the page horizontally and vertically is. I think that's great. So I know I have it in the right place. Okay. So let's look at our finished book and you see, I have the background, which I've now done purple. You see, I have the two pa the, the page, which, um, is really only one page. And then you see, I have the coil. Well, it looks like two pages on this page, doesn't it? Well, that's because I add this line. Actually, there's three little lines in there. So let's go back and add those lines in to our purple notebook, okay? Again, I'm going up here to shape and I'm going to use the line feature. And I'm gonna start up here at the top and I'm simply going to draw a straight line down to the bottom, okay? Now with that line, I need to change the color and I need to change the width. So if I make the color kind of a grayish color, that works pretty good. Let's try one of these, um, you know, uh, one of these darker gray colors that looks pretty good. And then I need to make the line width. I want to make it a little bit wider. So I'm going to go up here to shape outline. I'm going to go down to weight. And right now I'm at a half a point. I want to make it a little bit wider. Let's try six point and see how that looks. Okay. So now I have that definition in between the pages. I need to make sure that my line is long enough to go all the way down to the bottom. remember you have to make sure that you've clicked on the correct line. It gets a little tricky when you're working with these things to make sure that you're in the right spot. I'm going to cut this graphic here at the moment uh, to get it out of the way while I work on these. Let's put him over there. Okay. So we have our space. Do we like that look? Maybe it needs to be a little bit wider. Maybe it needs to be a little bit darker. I can always go up here to my shape format and I can choose a different color. If I want it completely black, I can, I can go here to shape effect. I can change that weight again to six point. I think that's a little stark. I don't like that. That's too, too dark. I think I will pick something like that. Um, I can even give it a shadow if I want. Okay. So you see when I add the shadow, how it kind of creates that little line on that side that works, I think pretty good. Um, you could give it soft edges if you wanted to, um, to kind of blur the whole look, which the blurring of the look is, is pretty good if you're going to then add stitches down the middle. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Okay but I think I'm just gonna stick with the shadow. Yeah, I like that one to the right, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same line and I'm going to um, add another line beside it, okay? So I'm gonna go up here uh, back to my 
a home menu. I'm going to add another shape. I'm going to pick another line. I'm going to draw this one kind of right beside it. Okay. Now, because I have the shadow on one side, I'm going to move this line. Uh, let's make it a little bit thicker so you can see it. Uh, let's make the weight of it a little bit bigger so that you can see it until I get it in place. And I'm going to grab it and I'm going to put it kind of on this side, on the left hand side of the line. Okay. All right. Now I can change that again to be, you know, kind of a light teal color. Okay. So it kind of blends in, it kind of fades, kind of fades away. Um, I could even choose to do like a a little bit darker gray that looks pretty good too okay and then I can cut this and paste it again so it then becomes the top layer so that when I put it over top of that and there you have very simply um, the center with the extra line beside it and a drop shadow on the right hand side you have your paper and you have your background Okay, simple as that. Now click off of it. You'll get rid of all those dots and dashes and you can see if that's something that you like. Now, let's say you wanna change the background color. You can, you simply need to go into shape format and you could change it. Let's say you wanna do teal or you wanna do you know black like I'm using or you even have, remember, all of these other options you can do gradients, you can do all kinds of things. So, you know, this gradient is kind of cool where it's darker at the bottom and then lighter at the top. That's fun. You could change your notebook for every, you know, quarter of the year or every month of the year if you wanted to, okay? One other thing I did want to show you is how to do the lines. So uh, let's go back and add, I'm going to move him out over here out of the way at the moment to my home menu again to shapes. Uh, I can do another line and I can do that here on the side like so. I just want to show you this, show you what the outline is. I'm going to do it in like a dark purple so that you can see it. Okay, I want dashes. So I'm going to take that line and I can either do solid dashes uh, like this, or I can do smaller or larger so it looks like sewing. Okay, so I'm going to do this one, this sewed line, and I am going to make it taller so it looks like it is on the whole page. Like so. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it right down the middle. Okay, now let me see if I can zoom in and let you see how this looks close up. So here you see your sewn line. You also still see that small uh, teal, dark teal line along the edge. And then you see your blurred kind of shadow on the side. All right. So when you zoom back out, it gives you more of a perspective of a notebook that is sewn down the middle. Okay. Again, that's great because it allows you lots of space within your notebook. A lot of people like this style of notebook. Okay, again, it is completely personal preference. All right. So I'm going to uh, bring back my um, coils and I will put them back over the middle like so. Get them right in the center there. And I probably should take out that uh, sewn line, but I'm going to leave it in there for now just to show you. Once you have this created, and it is the way that you like it, okay, and uh, everything looks good, what you're going to do is you're going to come up here and you're going to draw a box by holding down your mouse key over this entire page, okay, like so. All right. And what that does is it collects everything. So it's the background, it's the pages, it's the rings, it's the shadows, it's the lines, it's the dash, it's everything. Okay. And then I am going to copy that. And then I'm going to take it back into OneNote. I'm going to go to a blank page. And on that blank page, all I have to do is paste it in. And there is my new notebook. 
okay you see that it is in here as one graphic so i can no longer grab those individual pages it is just one graphic that is all together it happens to be in its own container i can take it out of a container if i want by grabbing it and yanking it out of the container <laughs> and there we have a brand new notebook that I can use. Okay. Now, can I make changes to this notebook? Can I change the background color? Not in OneNote because now this is a graphic. It is a picture. It is a sticker. It is uh, something that will always be the same, but can I make those changes back in PowerPoint? Absolutely. So if I click back here in PowerPoint and I say, you know what? I don't like that gradation. I want something else. I can choose that layer go up here to shape format, pick something different. Let's see. I really like that purple. So I'm going back to that purple. And again, just to review, to be able to copy and paste it, grab it exactly where you want it. So I want a little bit of white space at the top, a little bit of white space on the sides, all the way across. Cause if you do it like this, that's what it's going to collect. Okay. So kind of grab it all the way that you want it to look. Everything is, is selected now. Copy it, go back into OneNote. I'm gonna go down on that same page and paste. And there it is. Okay, so now in my notebook, I have a gradient teal notebook background, and I also have a pretty purple background. All right, so that's really how easy it is to create those uh, notebook backgrounds in uh, PowerPoint and to be able to bring them in as a graphic, to be able to modify them again in PowerPoint. Okay, so I hope this was helpful for you to make your own notebook background, whether you choose two page spread, a sewn notebook, um, a landscape notebook, a spiral at the end. You can even do a steno style notebook where you rotate the spiral. Let me show you. <gasps> Hang on. Just when I thought I was finished. All right. If you wanted to uh, click off of everything, you could also take this um, spiral and you could put it up here at the top. You guys remember the old spiral notebooks, right? Like so. All right. And you have that one right in the middle. And again, we can click over here, grab everything like so. Copy. Take it back to one note, scroll down and paste and there's our next notebook okay with the spiral at the top uh, i don't know about you but i spent many many years using a steno notebook in my classroom keeping track of lunch money and homework and all of those kinds of things so in some ways i really like a steno some ways i don't <laughs> but you can do that you can rotate graphics and all of that kind of thing Okay, now for real, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've learned something new, uh, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. That really, really helps out my channel. And if you have not thought about it yet, please think about subscribing. Uh, subscriptions are free. They do not cost you anything, but what they do is they let YouTube know that people like the content that we're producing and it really, really helps out the channel. It helps YouTube know to promote that channel to other people so that more people can join our community and we have more people to learn from and to uh, teach. So that is a great thing. All right. Um, well, if you have any questions about how to do this, go ahead and leave me a comment. Uh, I try to answer all of my comments and I will get back to you just as quickly as I can to answer your question. I do want to thank you for being here with me today. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you who reaches out to me. It warms my heart and it helps me feel good to know that I am actually helping people uh, out in and around the world. So I think that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. In the meantime, here's hoping that you can live a more simplified and organized life through better planning. I use OneNote and today PowerPoint. 
Okay, until next time. Bye.